The United States has consistently demonstrated its prowess in advanced weaponry. And among its latest developments is the Rapid Dragon Bomb, a marvel poised to redefine modern warfare. Spearheaded by the renowned American firm Lockheed Martin, this bomb represents a monumental leap in destructive capability. The NATO Air Sea Exercise, Atreus 22-4 in November 2022, showcased this lethal weapon, demonstrating its potential impact on future conflicts. But what sets the Rapid Dragon apart, and how does it compare to existing munitions? Let's explore how finally, the US Air Force is testing the deadliest Rapid Dragon bomb. The Rapid Dragon. The most lethal bomb in development is the Rapid Dragon bomb, currently undergoing testing. This innovative weapon is a palletized and disposable module that can be airdropped to deploy flying munitions, particularly cruise missiles, from standard cargo planes. Developed between 2020 and 2021 by a collaboration of U.S. Air Force and industry experts, led by Lockheed Martin, the Rapid Dragon system is a groundbreaking advancement. It transforms a regular military cargo plane into a strategic bomber capable of launching a variety of long- or short-range AGM-158 JASM cruise missiles against both land and naval targets. The key to its adaptability lies in the airdrop-rigged deployment boxes. These ingeniously engineered containers provide a cost-effective solution, temporarily repurposing cargo aircraft like the C-130 or C-17 into potent standoff bombers. Capable of launching a variety of AGM-158 JASM cruise missiles, ranging from short to long-range variants, these deployment boxes come in various sizes, accommodating anywhere from 4 to a staggering 45 missiles. With precision targeting capabilities reaching distances of up to 1,200 meters, the AGM-158 JASM-ER cruise missiles packed within these boxes are poised to revolutionize modern warfare. And the future holds even greater promise, with the impending introduction of the JASM XR missiles, boasting extended ranges set to redefine the battlefield in 2024. In the future, we'll see the Rapid Dragon system expand its capabilities to include not just the AGM 158 missile family, but also JDAM bombs, sea mines, drones, and more missile systems. This means it won't just be limited to cargo planes, other aircraft both cargo and non-cargo, will be able to use this launch system too. The current version of the system is pretty straightforward to use. It works with regular cargo planes, and deploying missiles doesn't require any extra special skills beyond what's already needed for dropping off supplies or vehicles. You can think of it like an incredible bomb bay in a box. It even has a way to receive targeting info from far away, so it can hit its targets with pinpoint accuracy all controlled from a distant fire control center. The Rapid Dragon Project The project's name, Rapid Dragon, draws inspiration from an ancient Chinese weapon called the Ji Long Qi, or Rapid Dragon Cart, which was used in the 10th century. This siege weapon could fire many long-range crossbow missiles at once, allowing attackers to strike from a safe distance. Similarly, the modern Rapid Dragon launch system is designed to overwhelm a target's defenses from afar, where the aircraft launching the attack is not in danger. This system can be quickly deployed using existing airlift fleets, enabling a significant increase in mass attack missions without substantial additional costs or training. This strategic advantage also means that the United States can swiftly provide its allies with the ability to launch strategic strikes, assuming these allies have the basic capability to airdrop supplies from cargo planes. Moreover, the system expands the potential locations from which cruise missile-carrying aircraft can operate, making it harder for enemies to neutralize these aircraft by targeting their airbases. While a B-52 Stratofortress needs a 10,000-foot concrete runway for takeoff and landing, a C-130 can operate from shorter 3,000-foot stretches of less developed surfaces. The Rapid Dragon concept not only boosts the capabilities of the USAF, but also allows other air forces, lacking strategic bombers but equipped with transport aircraft, to unleash a barrage of JASMs. For instance, using two Rapid Dragon pallets, a C-130 could launch 12 JASM cruise missiles from a safe distance of 620 to 1,180 miles from the target. On the other hand, a larger C-17 could carry five Rapid Dragon pallets, each loaded with nine missiles, 
totaling 45 missiles with 1,100-pound warheads for a mission. In a test conducted over the Gulf of Mexico on December 16, 2021, an armed Rapid Dragon received target data from a remote command and control center in flight. It used this data to aim its armed JAS SM, which was then dropped from the aircraft and successfully deployed its payloads, with the live missile hitting and destroying its naval target. The other three bays of the four-pack pallet contained ballast rounds of the same shape and weight, testing the system's ability to prevent missile releases from interfering with each other. The U.S. Air Force's Future Plans The U.S. Air Force is continuing its testing of the Rapid Dragon system, using C-17s armed with AGM-158C JASM and the longer-range AGM-158D JASM ER, which has a range of 1,200 miles. These missiles became available in limited quantities in 2021. Additionally, the Air Force's Strategic Development Planning and Experimentation Group is exploring the use of Boeing's JDAM ER bombs, which are less expensive but have a shorter range of 50 miles. They are also working with Rathon to integrate ADM 160 MAL decoys into the Rapid Dragon system. In November 2022, the first live demonstration of a joint air to surface standoff missile in Europe occurred involving an MC-130J at the Andoya Space Test Range in Norway. This demonstration was supported by military partners from Poland, Norway, Romania, and Britain during the Atreus 2022 military exercise. The system has been successfully deployed on both C-130 and C-17 cargo planes, hitting targets on land and at sea using both armed and test versions of the JAS-SM-ER missiles. In the future, the Air Force plans to expand the Rapid Dragon system to include a variety of weapons, such as JDAM bombs, sea mines, drones, and other missile systems. They also aim to make the launch system compatible with different types of aircraft, not just cargo planes. The current version of the system uses unmodified cargo aircraft, and missile deployment requires no additional crew skills beyond those needed for airdrops of supplies or vehicles. Essentially, the system can be seen as a smart and disposable bomb bay in a box, with an interface that allows targeting information gathered from allied units in the target area to be transmitted to the munitions from a distant fire control center. The annual NATO Air Sea Exercise Atreus 22-4 In November 2022, during the annual NATO Air Sea Exercise Atreus 22-4 off the coast of Norway, a new and intriguing addition was featured, the Rapid Dragon Palletized Missile Weapon System, developed by the renowned American company Lockheed Martin. This innovative system consists of a conventional transport pallet equipped with four low-observable cruise missiles, specifically the AGM-158B JASM ER. For the exercise, this pallet was loaded onto a standard MC-130J Hercules military transport aircraft, which had not been modified. Using roller guides, the Rapid Dragon pallet was pushed to the open cargo hatch of the aircraft, and then its parachute was deployed, pulling the pallet out of the plane. As the main parachute opened, the pallet hung from the sling, positioning the missiles upright. Subsequently, the missiles were released from their cells one by one due to gravity. Upon release, they unfolded their wings, ignited their engines, and accelerated to 575 miles per hour toward their designated targets. This transformation was remarkable as it turned an ordinary $40 million military transport aircraft into a strategic missile-carrying platform worth well over $100 million. The simplicity and effectiveness of this system demonstrated how existing aircraft could be repurposed for strategic purposes, showcasing the ingenuity and adaptability of modern military technology. The concept of launching cruise missiles from transport or even passenger planes is not new. In the 1970s, the U.S. Air Force seriously considered a missile-carrying airplane based on the Boeing 747-200, known as the Cruise Missile Carrier Aircraft, CMCA. This aircraft was designed to carry 50 to 100 AGM-86 ALCM air-launched cruise missiles on drum-mounted launchers inside the fuselage. The plan was to have squadrons of these missile carriers patrolling the air borders of the Soviet Union, ready for a massive strike. 
One of the main advantages of the CMCA project was its cost effectiveness. Building and operating a missile carrier based on the world's most famous airliner would have been relatively inexpensive. However, the CMCA project was not pursued because Pentagon generals, influenced by the military-industrial complex, feared that its success would lead to a reduction in funding for the promising B-1B supersonic bomber. Despite this, the idea remained popular. Examples of using military transport planes for unconventional purposes can be seen in recent history. During the Gulf War in 1991, the Americans used military transport planes as improvised bombers, dropping pallets of bombs. In Afghanistan, military transports were used to drop the super-heavy GBU-43B Moab anti-bunker bombs. Finally, we have the Rapid Dragon system, which further demonstrates the versatility and adaptability of military aircraft for various missions. The project's name, Rapid Dragon, has an interesting origin. It's inspired by an ancient Chinese weapon that could shoot multiple crossbow bolts simultaneously. The design of the Rapid Dragon system is remarkably simple. It's essentially a regular transport pallet, similar to those used with forklifts. It can even be made of wood. Mounted on this pallet are rack and pinion rocket rails. Depending on the needs of the mission, each pallet can hold between six and nine weapons. If fewer weapons are carried, ballast is placed in the empty cells to balance the load. The C-130 Hercules can carry up to two six-round pallets, while the larger C-17 Globemaster can carry up to five nine-round pallets, totaling 45 rockets. These pallets are loaded into the aircraft's hold like any other cargo. During the flight, they are discharged through an open tail hatch using a small extraction parachute, which pulls the pallet out along roller guides. Once outside, the main parachute opens, stabilizing the pallet as it hangs from the slings. The missiles are then released one by one. Currently, the Rapid Dragon system is equipped with AGM-158 JME cruise missiles. These subsonic stealth cruise missiles were designed to provide tactical aircraft, such as fighter bombers and attack aircraft, with the ability to strike protected targets from a safe distance. This demonstrates the system's versatility and adaptability for various military missions. The original version of the missile was equipped with 1,000 pounds of highly explosive and penetrative warheads. It could fly a distance of 230 miles. The extended range, ER version, has a larger fuel tank, which automatically increases the flight range from 230 miles to 575 miles. The missile is guided by an inertial guidance system, GPS guidance, and an infrared target identification system. During the exercise in Norway, missile targeting was conducted from the ground, outside the line of sight of the aircraft, using a satellite link. This demonstrated the ability to target and redirect the missile even while the fighter jet was in motion. After careful consideration, the United States has decided to utilize the AGM-158D JASM-ER cruise missile, which is a long-range version of the JASM-ER. The acronym JASM-ER stands for Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile Extended Range. The upgraded missile features a new wing design, and its range will be approximately 1,200 miles. Small-scale production of this missile began in late 2021, and full-scale production, at a rate of five missiles per month, is expected to be underway by the end of 2024. The second variant is the AGM-158C L Razum, an anti-ship, short-range cruise missile. It's part of the JAS-SM family, specifically designed to locate and engage ships in the open sea. The L Razum has a range of up to 350 miles, and uses only passive sensors, such as infrared matrix cameras and radar detectors, to find its target. It can also coordinate with other missiles in a salvo. The third option is the JDAM ER, a guided gliding air bomb that features folding wings, rudder planes, and autopilot with GPS. JDAM ER kits are attached to conventional unguided aerial bombs, enabling them to accurately engage targets up to 80 kilometers away depending on the drop altitude. The integration of JDAM ERs into the Rapid Dragon system is particularly interesting because these munitions are relatively inexpensive and provide the ability to precisely bomb dispersed targets, such as concentrations of troops, from a safe distance. This contrasts with the Russian approach, 
where they currently use only one bomb at a time. With the Rapid Dragon system, a swarm of bombs could be released, significantly increasing the impact on the enemy. The fourth option involves using Quick Strike ER guided mine planes. These mines are Jamar type bombs, which are conventional high explosive bombs equipped with planning and guidance kits. Additionally, they are fitted with a Quick Strike digital non contact detonator, allowing them to be used as sea bottom mines launched from an aircraft. These gliding mines can navigate to the designated deployment area and land in specific positions. This capability enables them to mine enemy waters from a distance beyond the range of air defenses. Lastly, the fifth option is the ADM-160 MALD autonomous decoys. These small imitation drones are designed to deceive enemy air defenses by accurately mimicking the radar signatures of various aircraft, from stealth fighters like the F-35 to strategic bombers like the B-52. The latest models, the MALD J, are also equipped with electronic jamming systems that can disrupt radar signals from a safe distance. With the inclusion of these options, Every heavy military transport aircraft can be considered a strategic rocket bomber when equipped with the Rapid Dragon Bomb. The United States has significantly bolstered its fleet of bomber missile carriers, expanding from 116 units, including the B-52H and B-1B, to a staggering 786 units, which now also include the C-17 and C-130. This expansion is not only a strategic move, but also a cost-effective one, as it would cost only a few million dollars rather than tens of billions. Utilizing the B-52 bomber requires a substantial concrete runway of at least 3,000 meters, while the C-130 heavy transport aircraft can take off from a mere 910-meter dirt track. This flexibility in takeoff locations makes it exceedingly difficult to track and predict the deployment of U.S. Air Force forces. This enhancement in the U.S. Air Force's capabilities presents an opportunity for NATO allies or other friendly nations without strategic aviation capabilities to acquire similar systems. For instance, countries like Australia, Poland, and Finland have already integrated the Joint Strike Standoff Missile, JASM, and JASM Extended Range, JASM ER missiles into their arsenals. Australia, boasting 30 C-17, C-27, and C-130 heavy transport aircraft has significantly bolstered its rapid strike capabilities. Similarly, Poland has enhanced its Hercules aircraft by equipping them with rapid dragon trays, enabling these nations to launch powerful strikes with low visibility cruise missiles from distances exceeding 2,500 meters. This substantial upgrade in their military capabilities has the potential to shift the regional balance of power in their favor. Some historical context. During the 1980s, when there was a possibility of canceling the B-1 bomber project due to its high cost, a more economical alternative called the Cruise Missile Carrier Aircraft, CMCA, was proposed. This innovative concept involved converting Boeing 747-200 cargo airframes into specialized cruise missile launchers. These modified aircraft could carry between 50 to 100 AGM-86 ALCM missiles. Similar to the design of the Rapid Dragon system, the CMCA released missiles rapidly from the rear of the aircraft. In this case, a rotary launcher ejected missiles out the side of the tail fuselage. These missiles were dynamically targeted using an onboard control system, allowing for precision strikes against enemy targets. Although the CMCA was never fully developed due to the revival of the B-1B bomber program, the idea behind it influenced the development of the Rapid Dragon system. Rapid Dragon builds upon the CMCA's concept of adapting existing aircraft to serve as standoff arsenal ships, aiming to reduce costs associated with developing new bomber platforms. One of the key features of Rapid Dragon is its roll-on, roll-off capability which allows for the rapid conversion of various cargo aircraft into standoff strike bombers. This capability can be applied to a wide range of cargo aircraft capable of airdropping pallets from a rear ramp, which are operated by the U.S. and its allies. By leveraging existing aircraft in this way, Rapid Dragon offers a cost-effective solution for enhancing the military's standoff strike capabilities. In 2003, 
graduate students at the Air Force Institute of Technology began exploring the idea of loading and launching palletized missiles from American cargo aircraft. They looked into various launch systems, such as deploying cruise missiles from the back of the aircraft on parachuted pallet trays, ejecting them from rotary launchers, or using spring-loaded launchers to eject them rearwards. As the 2010 progressed, the rise of near-peer adversaries with anti-access area denial tactics prompted further exploration into extending the U.S. military's standoff bombing capabilities. Institutions like the RAND Corporation delved into these concepts to enhance military capabilities while considering budget constraints set by Congress. Interestingly, similar ideas emerged independently in the civilian aerospace sector. In 2011, a team supported by the Japanese Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry proposed using cargo aircraft to parachute pallets carrying rockets. This concept aimed to launch satellites weighing between 100 to 200 kilograms into low Earth orbit without the need for a dedicated spaceport. Follow-up research on this concept was presented at the 27th and 29th AIAA USU conferences on small satellites in 2013 and 2015, respectively. These proposals align with other air launch to orbit concepts, where spacecraft are launched from cargo ramps or external mounts. These innovative ideas demonstrate a growing interest in leveraging existing aircraft for unconventional purposes, highlighting the potential for dual-use technologies that benefit both military and civilian sectors. Rapid Dragon represents a significant advancement in offensive airdrop tactics by incorporating standoff range and modularity. This means that large cargo planes, though vulnerable, can now operate much farther from their targets. This capability allows for increased flexibility and cost effectiveness by repurposing regular cargo planes into standoff cruise missile bombers without the need for major modifications. Ongoing research aims to expand Rapid Dragon's capabilities to support a variety of missions, including precision aerial mine laying and the dispersal of large numbers of drones. Similarly, DARPA has been working on adapting cargo planes for such tasks, as seen in the experimental Dynetics X61 Gremlins project. This project focuses on proving the feasibility of deploying and retrieving unmanned aerial vehicles from a C-130 aircraft using an integrated launch and retrieval crane. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Finally, the U.S. Air Force is testing the deadliest Rapid Dragon bomb. In November 2022, during the annual NATO Air Sea Exercise Atreus 22-4 off the coast of Norway, a groundbreaking addition took center stage. The Rapid Dragon palletized missile weapon system, crafted by Lockheed Martin. This ingenious system featured a conventional transport pallet, housing four low-observable cruise missiles, specifically the AGM-158B JASM ER. During the exercise, the pallet was loaded onto a standard MC-130J Hercules military transport aircraft without any modifications. Using roller guides, the pallet smoothly slides to the open cargo hatch before its parachute is deployed, pulling the pallet out of the plane. As the main parachute blossomed, the pallet dangled from the sling, aligning the missiles upright. Each missile was then released from its cell, unfurling its wings, igniting its engine, and surging to a speed of 575 miles per hour toward its target. This transformation was extraordinary, effectively turning a regular $40 million military transport aircraft into a strategic missile carrier valued at over $100 million. The simplicity and efficacy of this system illustrated how existing aircraft could be repurposed for strategic objectives highlighting the resourcefulness and adaptability of modern military technology. As the world watched, the Rapid Dragon system showcased a new era of warfare, where versatility and innovation merged to redefine the capabilities of traditional military assets. Have you seen or heard another deadliest bomb greater than the Rapid Dragon bomb? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Tsar Bomba, the most deadliest bomb. The Tsar Bomba, also known as the King of Bombs, is often regarded as one of the deadliest bombs, alongside the Rapid Dragon. This massive Soviet nuclear bomb was tested over Novaya Zemlya Island in the Arctic Ocean on October 30, 1961. It holds the distinction of being the largest nuclear weapon ever detonated, unleashing the most powerful human-made explosion ever recorded. 
During the intense Cold War rivalry between the Soviet Union and the United States, a team of Soviet physicists led by Andrei Sakharov developed this three-stage bomb to showcase Soviet military might. Originally designed to have a staggering 100 megaton capacity, the test was deemed too risky due to the potential fallout. As a result, the bomb was adjusted to yield 50 megatons, which was still approximately 3,800 times more powerful than the U.S. bomb dropped on Hiroshima during World War II. The Soviet scientists made modifications to the fusion process of the Tsar Bomba to significantly reduce the fallout. This massive bomb weighed 27 tons, was around 26 feet long, and had a diameter of about 7 feet. While its official designation was RDS-220, it gained various nicknames, with Tsar Bomba being the most well-known in the West. To accommodate the Tsar Bomba's size, a Soviet 295V bomber was adapted to carry it. The bomb was equipped with a special parachute that slowed its descent, allowing the plane to fly a safe distance away from the explosion after dropping it. On October 30, 1961, pilot Andrei Durnovtsev took off from the Kola Peninsula with the Tsar Bomba, accompanied by another plane as an observer. The Tsar Bomba was detonated over the Mika Bay test site on the uninhabited island of Novaya Zemlya at approximately 11 o'clock a.m. Moscow time. It exploded about 2.5 miles above the ground, generating a mushroom cloud that reached more than 37 miles in height. The flash from the explosion was visible from approximately 620 miles away. The destructive power of the Tsar Bomba was immense. The village of Severny, located 34 miles from the explosion, was completely flattened. Additionally, buildings more than 100 miles away were reported to have suffered damage. The B-61 nuclear bomb is a significant weapon that falls into this category. It has been a key part of the U.S. nuclear arsenal since the end of the Cold War. This bomb is unique because it can serve both strategic and tactical purposes, making it a versatile weapon. It is designed with a two-stage radiation implosion design and has a variable yield, meaning its explosive power can be adjusted from 0.3 to 340 kilotons. This bomb is designed to be dropped from aircraft and has various fusing and delivery options. It can be used for air and ground bursts, freefall, retarded freefall, and laydown delivery. The B-61 weighs about 700 pounds and is 11 feet 8 inches long, with a streamlined casing for high-speed flight. The B-61 bomb is currently undergoing its 12th modification to ensure its effectiveness and reliability. As of 2020, each B-61 bomb costs around $28 million. One of its key features is the dial-a-yield capability, which allows operators to adjust the bomb's explosive power based on the mission requirements. Overall, the B-61 bomb is a flexible and powerful weapon that can be adapted for various scenarios. It is designed to be carried by fast aircraft and is streamlined for supersonic flight, making it a formidable weapon in the U.S. military's arsenal. The original B-61 bomb was 141.5 inches long and weighed 715 pounds. Later versions of the bomb remained similar in size and weight, except for the Mod 11, which weighed about 1,200 pounds. To arm the bomb on the ground, personnel use an access panel with dials, sockets, and a T-handle for the command disable function. This mechanism involves entering a numeric code, turning a dial, and pulling a T-shaped handle to disable the bomb, making it inoperable. The B-61 bomb can be set to detonate in the air or on the ground, and it can be dropped with or without a parachute for different delivery modes. It is capable of being released at high speeds and low altitudes. The Mod 11 is a specialized version of the bomb designed to penetrate the ground before detonating, making it particularly effective against fortified structures. Approximately 50 Mod 11 bombs have been produced, and they entered service in 1997. They are primarily used by the B-2 Spirit aircraft, nuclear strategy and arms control negotiations. The United States Air Force has recently made headlines with the successful testing of its Rapid Dragon system during a major exercise in the Pacific. This achievement comes on the heels of a similar successful test conducted during an exercise in Norway in late 2022. Within U.S. military circles, 
There is considerable buzz about how Rapid Dragon could elevate the level of conventional threat posed by potential adversaries, especially China. However, little attention has been given to the system's implications for future nuclear arms limitation talks. It is inevitable that as other technologically advanced nations develop similar systems, potentially even enhancing the original U.S. concept, the global and regional balance of power will be significantly affected. The introduction of Rapid Dragon has irreversibly changed the game. While the primary purpose of Rapid Dragon is currently conventional, there is a looming concern about its potential for nuclear weapons delivery in the future. This raises new challenges for future nuclear arms limitation talks. Unlike previous agreements that focused on eliminating specific launch vehicles, negotiating limitations on cargo aircraft with rear ramps is not feasible. As a result, future arms limitation negotiations will likely revolve around limiting the number of warheads a party can possess and developing verifiable inspection methods for their stockpile. The development and deployment of Rapid Dragon represent a paradigm shift in military capabilities that will undoubtedly shape the future landscape of global security and nuclear arms control efforts. Thank you for watching this video. We would see you in the next one.